In September, an unnamed source told The Sun, Megan is set to receive one of the top awards of the evening at the glitzy 2022 GQ Men of the Year Awards, which will be held at the Tate Modern on November the 16th. Insiders said Megan was going to be celebrated for a charity work. The source said, Megan has been offered one of the top awards of the evening, so it's a massive coup for her. She already has a close relationship with GQ due to her friendship with Vogue's editor-in-chief, Edward Enenful, which is also owned by Condé Nast. Edward is very much seen as a friend rather than a business acquaintance. Though the awards centre on men, women have been honoured numerous times in the past, especially in categories like Heroes of the Year and Game Changer of the Year. Megan may stand to take an award for the latter. However, GQ nominees were to be announced yesterday, but Meghan Markle wasn't on the list. So, that manifesting PR again, unless it's a surprise award. No one article stated Meghan's award is confirmed, not even a nomination. Allegedly, the GQ awards date was changed to accommodate Meghan Markle's appearance. Traditionally, the ceremony is held in September and was originally scheduled for September the 7th. It was allegedly postponed for Meg's because she was on a royal tour at the time and wouldn't be able to attend. Other reports suggest the GQ Men of the Year awards were delayed due to the Queen's death. If Meghan does attend, she'll likely be dressed up to the nines as she has been for other gala and red carpet events since leaving the monarchy. It makes no sense. GQ postponed the ceremony while Meghan was actually in the UK, just for her. If GQ called Meghan and told her you've won, she would have dumped Harry and Invictus in a heartbeat to attend. Last month, Harry and Meghan reportedly ditched their big shop PR firm. Royal commentator Richard Eden said, From now on, the publicity for their numerous ventures is being handled in-house at their charitable foundation Archwell by former Silicon Valley bigwig Christine Shermer, who's head of communications. The commentator also quoted an insider who recently spilt the beans. This is a really big deal for Meghan. She takes the view that she doesn't need to pay an outside firm a lot of money to do PR for her and Harry anymore. Moreover, the commentator added, When Sunshine Sachs began working with the Duke and Duchess, the plan was always for it to be temporary, until a full-time internal team could be created. After they were hired, Sunshine Sachs worked alongside them to help the transition. All sides are on good terms, and periodic advisory work continues. King Charles is not confirmed to invite Harry and Meghan to his coronation in May next year. However, American royal commentator Lee Cohen said that the Sussexes could be in attendance as the couple are always happy to rise to the occasion for events that give them legitimacy. The couple's choice to attend will be based on the idea that the event will provide them a good PR moment, the commentator said. He added Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will undoubtedly attend something which will give them legitimacy. They'd be happy to snap up the opportunity similar to their attendance for other royal occasions, even after they step back, he claimed. Although the couple might not get an invitation from the royal family, another royal commentator, Afua Hagen, said that the Sussexes could be sidelined as King Charles will want to focus on himself and the Queen Consort. The couple could attend simply as family, and unlike senior royals, may not play a role, Afua Hagen said. King Charles will probably want to keep Harry at his side. 